Hope you all are fine. This is the video lecture of English for grade 2 students. The topic is singular and plural nouns, worksheet number 7, 8 and 9 of English workbook. Today in this video, we will learn about singular and plural naming words or nouns. First of all, do you remember what a noun is? A noun is a name of a person, place, animal or a thing. Then what's a singular noun? Singular noun means one in quantity. It's a name of one person, place, animal or a thing. A good way to remember this is the word singular has a word single in it, which means there is only one. What about a plural noun? A plural noun means that there is more than one person, place, animal or thing. A good way to remember this is that the word plural has the word plus hidden in it, which means more. Like in maths, when you want to add more, you use the sign plus, right? We are going to look at three rules today to change the singular noun to a plural noun. Rule number one, add S at the end to make a plural noun. Look at the first picture. What is this? It is a cat. How many cats are there in first picture? One. It means one cat is a singular noun. Now look at the second picture. How many cats are there? One, two. Yes, there are two cats. If something is more than one, we use the word plural. We add S at the end of the singular noun to make it a plural noun. A cat. Two cats. Here is another example. Look at the first picture. How many lamps are there? One. So it means it is a singular noun. Now look at the second picture carefully and tell me how many lamps are there. One, two, three. Yes, three. To make it plural, we add S at the end of the singular noun. Lamp becomes lamps. Here is another example. There is only one lock in first picture. So it is a singular noun. Means one. In second picture there are five locks. So what do you think? Which word will be used here? Singular or plural? Yes, plural. Because the locks are more than one. To make it plural, we use S at the end of the singular word. Now it becomes locks. In first picture, there is a boy. When we talk about a boy, we use the word singular. But when we talk about more than one boy, we use the word plural. Plural means many. To make it plural, we add S at the end of the singular word. The word boy becomes boys. One boy. Two boys. Easy peasy. All we have to add S at the end to make them plural. Rule number two. Add ES at the end to make a plural noun. We can also make plurals by adding ES. Words ending in X. CH, SH, S and double S normally use ES to form plurals. These plurals end with A is sound. Singular, plural. Singular means one. 
Plural means many. Singular words are box, watch, dish, glass, bus. The word box ends in X. We add ES at the end of the singular noun box to make it plural. Boxes. Watch ends in CH. We will add ES at the end of the word watch to make it plural. Watches. Dish ends in SH. By adding ES at the end of the singular word dish, it becomes dishes. Glass. Glasses. Bus ends in S. So we will add ES to make it buses. Rule number 3. Drop the Y and add IES. Look at this word here, kitty. When the Y follows a consonant, drop the letter Y and add IES. As you know, consonant is a letter that is not a vowel. A, E, I, O, U. Let's take a look at this word, baby. Y follows B. B is a consonant. So let's drop the last letter Y and add I E S. Babies. We have many babies. Now change the singular noun to plural nouns. Cherry, lady, puppy, party. To make the plural of this word, we will add I E S at the end of cherry by dropping the last letter Y. Cherries. Lady. Drop the letter Y and add IES to make it plural. Ladies. Puppy. Puppies. Drop the letter Y and add IES. Party. Drop the letter Y and add IES to make it plural. Parties. There we did it. Good job. But when Y comes after a vowel, that is either A, E, I, O or U, we will not remove Y. We will just add S after Y to make it a plural naming word. Key. Here we have another naming word ending in Y. But there is a vowel E comes before Y. We will add S at the end and it becomes keys. Now change these singular nouns into plural nouns. Monkey. The word monkey ends in Y. But there is a vowel E before Y. So we will not remove Y. We will add S to make it a plural. Second word is a toy. There is a vowel O before Y. So we will add S to make it a plural. The word day ends in Y. But there is a vowel A before Y. So we will add S to make it a plural. Shall we do a little review? What's a singular noun? Singular noun means one in quantity. Then what's a plural noun? Plural noun means there is more than one thing. Now it's your turn. These are the singular nouns. Change them into plurals. Which, city, truck, dish. Shall we check? Okay. Which is, cities, trucks, dishes. Good job, you did it. I hope you understood the concept well. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.